guys welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having a wonderful day today i have a story time to share with you guys so this is something i knew i wanted to start on my channel maybe once a month once every two weeks something like that i'd like to come on here and tell you guys a story about my life something that's happened to me in my life and that i'd like to share with you guys this story here in particular is a little bit scary so i'm not sure if you are, don't like scary things and things like that you might not want to watch this this one i don't really have a good ending for because it was one that we could never figure out so this starts off when I was probably about 13 years old. I think I was 13 or 14. I was right around that age. We lived in a small town. Uh, it was like on the outskirts of the small town. We lived in the middle of an apple orchard. So we lived very, very much in the middle of the country to where there was not many people around. Our closest neighbors were pretty far away. We had to actually drive to their house to actually see our closest neighbors. So we were living here and my mom was dating this guy who was out of town. So it was just me and my mom at the house alone. My mom is on the phone talking to my aunt while we're watching a scary movie. So we're kind of watching a scary movie. My mom and my aunt are just having a little conversation. And the next thing I know, my mom is like freaking out. And I'm like, mom, what's wrong? What's wrong? I could tell she was freaking out because she was like, oh my, she's, and then she tells my aunt, did you do that? And then I don't know what my aunt said at that time. I didn't know. And then my mom gets off the phone, immediately hangs up the phone and she's looking at me and she's freaking out. She's like, oh my gosh, Tiffany, we have to leave. And I'm like, we have to leave. Why? What's going on? And she says, she was on the phone with my aunt and then she was talking to my aunt and the next thing you know, somebody gets onto the phone and says, get out of the house. And my mom was like, she doesn't know who it was because my mom asked my aunt, she said, did you do that? And my aunt said, no, there's nobody here at my house. I didn't do this and there's nobody else on the other line or anything like that. So we did not do that. Did somebody at your house do that? And my mom said, no, Tiffany's sitting right here. It wasn't me. And my aunt said that we needed to get out of the house because she feared that there might have been somebody in the house or whatnot so we both freaked out i'm running around the house behind her holding on to her shirt afraid to leave her side screaming not knowing what to do so we run up the stairs we're gonna go get all of our stuff run up the stairs is that not the typical scary movie yep so we run up the stairs to get all of our stuff to go to stay at my aunt's house so we get up the stairs and now my mom's room, the way her bedroom was set up is she had this giant water bed and the water bed had this wood base to it. It had drawers on both sides of the thing and at the front of the water bed had this cabinet thing you could open up and you could store blankets and things like that. And she never stored anything in it. It was always empty, but it was as long as the bed and it was really big. Like a, an average size adult could definitely fit into that spot. No problem whatsoever. So she and I are going around, going around getting everything. She's got also this phone hanging on the wall and this phone has one of those long cords. So it's a corded phone. It's got one of those long cords so that she could use the phone while she was laying in bed. She could talk on the phone that way. Well, we get to her room. The next thing you know, we look over at that area where the phone was hanging and the phone cord was moving back and forth. We both scream immediately because we have no idea how that would have happened. The windows were not open. There was no wind blowing. There was no ceiling fan in that room. There was no way at all for that phone cord to be moving unless somebody actually had touched the cord and moved the cord itself. And since my mom and I were both together, it was neither one of us. We knew it was not one of us that did it because I was holding onto her shirt tails and trying not to lose her because I was scared. So we both immediately freak out, run back down the steps and we're running out to the car and we're getting ready to leave. So we leave and we head to my aunt's house. Now, mind you, we get to my aunt's house and we're both freaking out and my aunt's like, so did you all check to see if there was somebody in your house? And we're like, no, we didn't check. So, cause we were scared. So what are you going to do? You got two girls who are scared. One's who's a kid. So we're like, no, we didn't check. And she says, well, there was probably somebody in your house. And then that we started thinking back on it. And if we think back on it, my mom's bed, like I told you guys how her bed was set up. We have a gut feeling that there was somebody under her bed. So we feel like there was somebody under the bed there hiding after they were on the phone they hung up the phone and they crawled under that spot right there. And we don't know how they got in our house, if they have even got in our house, because there's another thing I wanted to tell you guys about this house in particular, how I feel like the house was haunted. So that will be a separate story time, but I feel like that house in, in fact was haunted. So maybe it was just the, the house being haunted. That's what happened there. I don't know. Either way, like I said, I don't have a final ending for this because we don't know what happened. We just know that something definitely moved the phone cord and we didn't do it and we're freaking out. So to this day, we still have no clue what actually happened. If I could get my mom to come on here and share the story with you guys too, just because I feel like it works better if you have two 
points of view because I mean of course I was 13 14 I was pretty young but I can still remember everything very vividly because it was very scary so it's one of those things that will always stick out clearly in my mind but it was just a very scary time that house though like I said I feel like it may have been haunted because there were there were some instances of things happening at the house it was just a little bit scary it was very old I think it was built in like the 1800s or something like that it was a very old farmhouse that they used to use for the orchard people and or for the orchard itself whoever owned it, it was like a farmer first so it was just a very old house. My dog's barking. He just scared the bejesus out of me too by working like that. But anyway, I'd love to know if you guys have a typical, or not typical, another story similar to mine where something scary happened like that and you have no idea what it was or what happened. You're just like clueless. You're like, you have no idea. You have no final ending for it. I'd love to know if you have a story like that. Also, let me know what do you think of these story times if you'd like to hear more because I'd like to share more about my life itself because I have lots of stories. Not only are they scary, I have some fun stories and things like that. Just life stories, things that go on in a person's life that I'd like to share with you guys. Some that are pretty funny. Anyway, I'd love to hear your your opinions on this. Let me know. Either way, you're not going to hurt my feelings. If you don't like these story times, no big deal. We won't put any more up. But this is the first one I thought I'd start out with just because I feel like it's an interesting one and one that doesn't really have an ending. So it's like it kind of leaves you hanging because I don't know what happened. I don't know who was there. So either way, let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.